Good morning here from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Valerie Milano, the senior editor of The Hollywood Times, and I'm so thrilled to have our guests here from their film. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves. So thank you so much for being here with us virtually. Absolutely. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Go ahead, yeah. Kai. So we're both here from Show Her the Money. Um, I'm director, producer, and EP, uh, and Show Her the Money is my fifth feature film. And we are kind of in the middle of our festival run and ramping up to be screening at the Santa Barbara Film Fest next weekend. And Catherine, over to you. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm the producer and executive producer with Kai in uh, the film, Show Her the Money. And uh, we just started our 50 city tour for 2024 yesterday in Northern California. Uh, and then we have our next uh, screening this Monday in Palm Springs. <laughs> yay, yay. And I'm one of the lucky ones that's been able to see the film. And I'm so thrilled. Uh, Catherine Gray and I are, are not only personal friends, but I've been on her show a, a couple of times uh, being interviewed for the Hollywood Times. So I'm just so happy to see her. We've been missing each other right and left, but haven't missed the film and everybody has to see it. So watch for them um, and where the film is showing. And we'll get into that in just a little bit. It's a wonderful film uh, with an exciting path to success for a greatly underserved uh, population. There, there has long been a glass ceiling for women in corporate America, keeping women under the thump of patriarchy. And I think women universally recognize the pro prohibitions they face in business. So why has it taken so long for women to just say, hell with men, just do it ourselves? Can y'all talk about that a little bit? Well, I mean, one thing that we touch on in the film is that the infrastructure around money has purposely barred women to, until not very recently. I mean, women couldn't get a credit credit card or open a checking account without a man's signature, not even until the 70s. So, you know, it, at that point in time, men were able to start venture capital funds and make buco bucks, and they were kind of inside the insider's club. And of, of course, because men were kind of in the driver's seat, making decisions on who got money, Often, and not in a nefarious way, just in like kind of a way of you support things and people who look like you and your interests, men were giving money to other men when it comes to investment money. And, you know, as Catherine so eloquently points out a lot on her podcast and in her public speaking events, you know, women have not, even though their inventions are great, it means women, women need to be sitting at the decision-making table in order to ensure that other women get funding. And until women are making the decisions about who gets funding, we won't be equal. And that's what our film is hoping to achieve is getting women involved in every level of the system. And Valerie, that's why we're taking this film on a 50 city tour around the country, because we believe it's a grassroots mission to enlighten women to the fact that they're getting the short end of the stick in venture capital. What is venture capital? Why does it matter? Why is it important to the future? And so, you know, women, uh, if you let them know they're getting the raw end of the deal, they're going to rise up and do something about it. And that's basically it. We're out there lighting a match, trying to get women uh, involved in solving this issue of our only getting 2% of venture capital and men getting 98% so imbalanced it's ridiculous really and so we're just trying to bring awareness to that and educate women how we can change that and the bottom line is like kai just said we need more women investing in venture capital we have to be the decision makers of who gets the funding love it yeah agreed is there a perception among venture capitalists that women just aren't serious about business or that their business ideas are just something to fill the time before they start a family? Well, yes. And I mean, some of our founders in the film, you know, testify to that experience. For instance, uh, um, Marion Leitner, who started the company Archer Roos, which is a canned wine company, when she was looking for funding, some of the people that were possibly going to give her money looked her up on Facebook and saw that she was pregnant. And they asked her if this was just a hobby until she had her baby. Um, one of the other incredible founders in our film, Deepa Kulsa, who started Indie, Indie Wild, which is an Ayurvedic um, Indian inspired beauty brand. When she was trying to get this really original idea, especially for the South Asian market off of the ground, 
uh, they were like, why on earth would you start another beauty brand? Just go work for them. We've seen this. This is just an influencer brand. We're sick of this. Like, you know, you, what, what is this? And so all along the way, people have just made them think, you know, this is just a passion project. You're not serious about this. This is, you're having a, a baby. This can't possibly be a, a, a real career. And um, it's just the same. I mean, women experience this everywhere, right? It's the same biases. Um, what has been the reaction of women so far who have seen the film? Are there are there women who don't know that there are resources that don't involve groveling before men for for money to fund to fund their ideas and businesses? You know, here's the bottom line. This is a story that's never been told, oddly enough. And the majority of people still don't know that women only get 2%. And if they do, they're not even really sure about what venture capital is. So this is what Kai and I are doing with this film, pulling back the curtain and explaining what is venture capital and what an exciting and fascinating world it is, learning about all the new upcoming innovations, and then explaining why we're underfunded, why we're not getting the funding. And I mentioned this in my TED Talk called Save uh, Fund Women, Save the World. And it's about exactly what Kai just said, that people tend to invest in people they identify with. If there's no women sitting at the decision-making table of who gets the money, then that's why we're not getting money. So more women have to be educated on this. We thought a film was the best way to get women educated, inspired, and excited about the fascinating world of venture capital. And so we tell the stories of three different women in the film, the women that are starting these funds that we call the rock stars of the venture capital world. They're the unsung heroes that nobody even knows about that are out there raising 20, 50, $100 million to invest in women, in BIPOC and LGBTQ, that the men's funds are not. And then there's also the women that are the angel investors that are investing in these funds, making them possible. We need more of them. Thus the 50 city tour to encourage more women to get into this very lucrative asset class. And then the third is we showcase women entrepreneurs, women with great innovative ideas that otherwise would not be getting funding if it wasn't for these female founded funds. And so it's about those three sectors of people and their intersection and how they make up this ecosystem. And I think every woman in the audience pretty much sees themselves in one of those buckets, either someone starting a fund, someone that could invest in a fund, or somebody that is an entrepreneur looking for funding. And so, yes, we've had a groundswell of excitement. We've won Best Feature Documentary at all the festivals we've been to. Uh, we are going to be at uh, South by Southwest uh, EDU, which is a real honor to be in. And then next week, we're also um, at the Santa Barbara Film Festival. Uh, that's the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Obviously, very uh, prestigious uh, film festival to be in. Um, and we've been touted as one of the top 10 to see at that festival. So yes, all around the world, women have been reaching out to us. They're super excited that there's finally a film about this topic. And we think that taking it on a 50 city tour is really going to help change the game and help move the needle so that we're no longer just getting 2%. Catherine. I think one really important thing to add about this, though, is, you know, yes, women are starting to go to, you know, be at the decision making table and helping more women get money. But one thing that we have to make sure it's clear, women tend to be better founders, they can make a check stretch further and go longer than a similarly situated male will in that same position with the same type of company. And the women in our film talk about this over and over and over again, that because there's a lot of white space, right? The, 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 the companies are female founders are starting are new. There's not a lot of competition. Those are huge money makers. And because women have been so used to doing so much with so little and having to work twice as hard as their, you know, as male founders, their companies are more, you know, recession proof. They're, they're anti-fragile as pocket says. And what that means is that like an investment in women can go really far and they tend to be a better investment than their male founders. And so this isn't just great to get these women, you know, to, to, for equality and to get their brilliant ideas off the ground that can really help, you know, solve the crises we're finding in healthcare and in the environment, but you can make a lot of money by investing in women. And I think that's important for people to know. 
Yeah, sometimes people think impact investing is separate from profitable investing. And the cool thing is you can do both. Mm -hmm. And so women are waking up to the fact that, oh, you know, by the time I invest in something on the public market, it's already made billions in the venture capital market. So it's an asset class they need to learn about. And we provide the resources and the tools and the connections. Uh, we have an actual resource page on showherthemoneymovie.com. But seeing the movie really, you know, helps people to understand it. They walk out of the movie saying, oh, my gosh, is that what venture capital is? Well, that's not so complicated. And wow, is that an exciting and fascinating world? I want to put part of my portfolio into helping other women because not only is it going to be profitable, but I'm going to make an impact on the world. You know, all these women with their ideas and innovations that, could be the next cure, could be something that helps the environment. You know, women throughout history have created so many important inventions that we use on a daily basis, and nobody even knows that women invented them. And so it, it's fascinating world to step into. And that's why we wanted to tell the story. And I must add that how fortunate I am that Ty Dickens stepped on board to be our director. She is a award-winning director of social justice films. And it's in her heart to tell stories that help move the world. And so I do think that, yes, we had a wonderful cast of women and their stories are amazing. But the way that Kai so beautifully put it together, you know, it's rare that you see a documentary um, where you are being educated, but at the same time, it moves you. The stories move you. They make you laugh. They make you cry. It's a moving documentary, but you're being educated at the same time. And that's a hard combination to achieve. And that's what Kai did with this film. Love Thanks, it. Catherine. Looks like a great combination, you two. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Catherine, getting back to what you were saying with all the awards and, and all the showings, just congratulations. I just... you. I don't know anyone more deserving. Um, Thank you. For how, that. Yeah, for real. How effective has the movie and subsequent seminars uh, been in bringing women into the process of obtaining funding? Oh, Catherine, I bet you've got great reports on this. <laughs> well, you know what? We're just getting started because uh, originally we wanted people to be aware of the film. So we did the film festivals. We did the theatrical release, the For Your Consideration campaign to get on people's radar and to get this wonderful feedback. And now we're going on this 50 city tour to do exactly what you're asking. And that is to measure the metrics of the success of the 50 city tour. So we actually have a team that's doing surveys with the audiences and, um, you know, keeping track of um, people investing and, uh, you know, trying to do a, a metrics report at the end of that 50 city tour to show that, yes, we have actually impacted this sector around the world. And, you know, it doesn't happen overnight, but you know what, uh, at least we're getting the momentum going. Well, and I know just after that LA screening, I had two friends there in the audience, and both of them have invested in um, Sogal Ventures Pockets Fund. And so just in one night, I mean, she made over $200,000. I don't know how much it was, maybe 500000 but she made it. And, and that's just with Kai's two friends. We've had strangers in the audience that mm -hmm. have invested in venture also. I know another uh, a person I met in that audience who I did not know also invested a uh, hundred thousand in pockets. So, uh, and that's just the ones we know about, but we're tracking all of that too. Um, and there have been many that have also invested in Emmeline Ventures, which is um, featured in the film as well. And with Kelly Winget, um, also a genius investor that's uh, featured in the film. So yes, we're definitely already making progress uh, in getting more funding for women. And you'll see that in the movie. Right. Yes, we will. Yeah, they will. And I have, and I'm, I'm hooked. It's great. Um, and how can our readers and our viewers find out how they can? Tell us any websites, uh, whatever, your websites, how they can find more information. Well, the main one is showherthemoneymovie.com. Uh, we have all the screenings listed there. We're probably coming to a city near you. Um, speaking of that, it was just in Modesto. I had people come all the way from Sacramento to see the film. So, you know, if we're not in your city, we're probably near your city. And we're also going to Europe and New Zealand. So, 
Uh, just check out our 2024 schedule on showherthemoneymovie.com. And uh, we'd love to Catherine, see. I also want to add for them there that they can book their own screening. Like if people want to host a screening event for their own community, their own bank, their own university on showherthemoneymovie.com, they can do that. So right now we want this to become a movement. And if we're not going to your city, you can make your own, you know, screening and impact event. So. And the purpose of it is not just to see the film, uh, but the reason we're taking it on a 50 city in-person tour is to engage people in conversation. They actually have an opportunity to meet people in the film, to um, talk about this, to ask questions. Uh, this is what's been holding people back is they, they don't know who to ask. You know, there's nobody to engage with. This is like a movement where we're engaging with the people around the country and around the world in a conversation to actually create change. Fantastic. All right. Well, we're the Hollywood Times dot today or the Hollywood or Hollywood Times dot net. Our YouTube channel is the Hollywood Times official. I am the owner of the Hollywood Times um, female. <laughs> she, her. Um so I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you to both taking the time because I know how busy you are. And um, of course, we're on social. I don't yeah. want yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That that as we well. are on social on Instagram and Facebook at show her the money. So we'd love to hear from you. And our personal ones. My Instagram is Kai Dickens underscore pro P.R.O. Um, and on Twitter, it's just Kai Dickens and TikTok is just Kai Dickens. KY. And you did mention my podcast, uh, Ma uh, Valerie. And so um, it's Invest in Her. We're on Instagram, Catherine Gray, Invest in Her. And of course, you know, you can find us both on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is such a wonderful way to connect with people. Um, and Invest in Her podcast, every week we feature either women that fund other women or women looking for funding. It's a wonderful free resource to all your listeners. It's called Invest in Her. Fantastic. Well, thank you again. And we'll be spreading the word for sure. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much Val. Have a wonderful day, Val. Big hugs to you. Take care. All Take right. care. Bye-bye.